Hello. Hi. I'm Patricia McNeely. I am an illumined Blu-ray twin flame from Chicago, Illinois. I hope you're doing well today. Today, I'm going to talk to you about the new moon coming up this weekend. And it is time for new love stories. I got to tell you, I have the best job in the world. Sometimes I really feel that. I get to hear love stories every single day. And there's not many people that get to hear love stories every single day. They search for them, they look for them, but they never really get to have that as something is that they're privileged and honored to hear. So uh, I have several things to talk to you about today. First, I'd like to thank everyone who participated in my webinar this past weekend. It was very successful. I think it was enjoyed by all. It was highly informative. It allowed for other people to hear some things. So I plan to do more things like that. Thank you to everyone. And I wanted to let you know several things, not only in addition to a fresh start. Now, some of you who've been following my videos, I just went and peeled this off of my refrigerator. It's time for a fresh start. This is from three years ago. I've had it on my refrigerator for three years. And some of you are saying, oh, yeah, Patricia, I know, because I've been hanging in here and hanging in here. And this is it. This is the, We're past the point of no return for some people. I mean, it could go. You, you're going to find you're spinning your wheels. So I want to explain to you what are these energies that we're in right now and what is this new moon significant of because you some of what twin flames will experience they're beginning to experience a level of cosmic energies that affect them in their life and not necessarily from the earth perspective so it can be interpreted by some as cosmic astrology for other people they're interpreting it as energies other people interpret it as love or the divine and the sacred and it's all valid to say any of that is valid so what I have here I have that it is quitting time for a lot of you quitting time the collective work is done now this is primarily for illumined people this is definitely for blu-ray rod and staff unions you're done working for the collective working with the collective on a broader scale doing large-scale transmuting, bundling, um, prototyping. That work is done. Pat yourself on the back. And yes, thank you, Blu-rays. Thank you to everyone who has participated in this. And people participate even if they don't know the words twin flame. They do. You, I know that there's people out there that write about things. They write about ascension. They write about spirituality. They write about it from the way that they are feeling it. And yet some of it boils down to the umbrella overlighting it all is twin flame love. They're going to find out. But some, for some people, it's been really important to get that work out of the way before they have the rest of their awareness. And they will. So that's going to be this time for a lot of people. Quit in time. It's time to quit. And quit and retire from certain things. That's what my webinar was about. It was about universal endings, universal divorces. The collective work is done. It is the end of separation, and now it will be about union only. Now, you may not feel this in this moment, but it's going to feel like that more and more and more, where someone you know, were to ask you, what are you doing? Well, I'm going to be in my union, or I'm in my union. I really am in my union. Everything else is done. And you'll feel yourself distinctly unclicking things especially if you have done the work to open your channels and expand your light body that's key because that is where your connections are you you and your twin have unique connections you have a vibration that is unique to you doesn't match anybody else blue ray rod and staff unions are on 
This is also a misconception that somehow certain unions are just here to overlight things or they're just here to um, be for the good of humanity. No, this is highly personal. And the reason I say this is the our essence is so huge. Twin Flame people, your essence is so huge that it's imperative to get these things to get the collective stuff out of the way get your participation or how it's been attached to you off of you out for good and there have been levels to this that's why you're going through certain cycles the past few weeks are finishing and endings this is concluding business and family settlements and not settling not settling this has been on an energetic level especially, and some people have taken the time to actually be in the presence of their family members, even if they've detested them, even if they haven't been happy about things. They've been able to find ways to bring some harmony, or at the very least, bring some closure and mend some fences. And that is a lot of what I also talk about in my webinars. How do you do this? How do you, you know, how do you have a parent where every time you talk to the, your mom or your dad, it feels like they throw a grappling hook into you and they start reeling you in and you're like, oh boy, oh God, if I go to that family dinner, I know I'm going to have a stomach ache or these people give me a headache, the things that they talk about. And a lot of you very brave people have been doing this. It starts on the inside. And you're concluding your business things. So like I had mentioned last time, a lot of Blu-ray people suddenly somehow caught a court case or something that smelled like a court case. And it was going to be something that uh, maybe someone wanted to sue you, call you on something. And it came out of the blue. This is you getting all of your last stuff up and out. Anytime that you, you or your twin or your twin has ever been involved in anything like this. I want to let you know also, please stay on course for your unions. Do you want to know what a big part of these energies have been? It is, I'll give you two words, setting boundaries. Setting boundaries for everyone and everything else. Now I had some very uh, interesting things I won't say odd or strange it was strange in the sense of certain times where I've had isolation and I'm a naturally gregarious person I'm sociable so some of this has been difficult for me to be the hermit or stay quiet stay put don't accept invitations sometimes and or not to go do things because my energies were in some state of flux. Either I was holding steady and receiving or it was not the time and it would be time to go. So um, oddly, what started happening or interestingly, friends started coming around again. And I, being very cautious sometimes, maybe overly cautious, asked about it. So I asked my higher self. I said, you know, I was kind of doing this as this person, not safe, but, you know, am I really done? Am, is there something? And the response was, won't you want to have certain people be a part of your acquaintance again? Don't you want certain people at your festivities that you'll be having? I said, yes. Oh, yes. Yes. And there wasn't any of the awkwardness. Everything flowed very well, which told me that people around me had been properly elevated, that I had done the necessary things. Now, I'm going to also ask something else to some of you out there, because this is important. Have you done your grid work? Have you done the grid work for your union? Union only. Grid work isn't just about cleaning up the garbage or cleaning up uh, dense energies or negativities. Grid work is about having the things near you and dear to you 
also your necessities. It's going to be health care. It's going to be fun. It's going to be what does your twin find fun? Maybe what your kids find fun. Have you done your grid work? Grid, I call it grid work. Other people might call it, I also call it bringing in the stardust, bringing in the magic, planting the seeds. So this is another thing that I talk about in another one of my webinars way back, probably last year's. And I will have the link down below for it. This is also the masculine and feminine being in true harmony. Now, some of uh, what people have considered about masculine and feminine, uh, they've also come to know as electric and magnetic. And the feminine can be both electric and magnetic, and so can the masculine be electric and magnetic. You're now getting to the point of you're each double. So you're able to hold a huge capacity. In fact, some of the emotions that you've been experiencing, very snug for your human body. However, your light body should be expanding so that you're able to hold much more without losing it, without feeling the intensity in the same way. How do you do that? Again, it's going to be through your light body. For many of you, if you're just becoming aware of this, you have a light body on the inside and it is in transition. So is your human body. The things that people call ascension symptoms and even detoxing are going to feel like they affect you. I have ways to help you ease through this. And new love stories bringing sexy back to the true divine sacred sexual passion. Now, what I mean by that is there are a lot of people who are becoming aware of this other level of love, and they might call it a spiritual connection. But for twin flames, it is beyond the spiritual. It's, it's beyond the physical. It is you in multiple dimensions. It is you having the, what I would call the mind-blowing, out-of-body, sacred experiences. It has nothing to do with 3D sex here on Earth. 3D sex is a very diminished um, part of how do, how do you achieve an orgasm. And for some people, it gets really desperate. How can they get something? And there's a fair number of people that even feel asexual because their sexuality is up here, either due to past abuses, um, past lives, and it might be a part of their preparation for being in their union only. Only union. Union only. Okay? So I want to let you know how I feel some of these uh, planetary retrogrades. And some of this is going to be a little weird because of Pluto right now. When I feel it, that planet comes here. And the Blu-ray twin flames are sort of saying, hang on here a minute. You need to go back a little bit. We need to get our children. We need to get our people from that place. We're going to upgrade everything and we're going to bring it. Then you can go forward. And then things start to go forward. Hey, hang on a minute. John forgot about his divorce. Let's go backwards a little bit. Let, let him feel this without fear and let him feel the proper actions. Okay, you feel that? Okay, you feel that deep inside. Now it's time to go forward. And so with this new moon, you have a really great Venus-Neptune trine. Venus, the planet of love. Okay, and there's, there's all of that wonderful feminine energy that's been adjusting. It's not just nurturing. This is the time you're going to really feel the tenderness, the sweetness of each other again. Feel the lightness of each other. Really feel the lightness of your being. And without recourse, there is no going back. You may go through a planetary retrograde at some point. And that may be for, you know, sloughing off a few other parts of the residue. For other people, it's going to be 
oh my gosh, I just woke up, I just found out about this, and I just found out some of the words for what this is, and is that what's been going on with me because I've been feeling it? And yes, and 2017 is going to look completely different than 2016. We're in the last quarter of the year now, and there's a lot that's going to happen. There is a lot happening right at the personal level. And yes, I've had several people reach out to me and let me know that they are together. So twin flames are coming together. And there are people that are trying to read into it. And I want to make a point here. It's important to distinguish densities or negativity that are being released from someone from their union. If someone, if you love someone and someone is telling you negative things about that person or telling you they're covered with stuff, I know some of you, it's going to send off every alarm bell inside your heart. Use your heart to guide you. Your heart will tell you the truth. If you get upset, if you get alarmed, if you get afraid, pay attention. Okay, because we're ready to head into new love stories. And yeah, the first batch of people are ready. I've been, I've been uh, asked sometimes, hey, Patricia, why do you keep saying this is happening or that's going to happen or people are coming together? I will say this to you. People come together. I don't ask people to follow up and they let me know. I see it around me. I do live in a large metro area. I've run workshops from years ago starting from 2007 and especially in 2009 and I had people who had met their twin. I had people who were together. I had people around me. What they haven't had were some of the high-level mergings. Those have been uh, specific for certain couples so that prototyping can be done, transmutation can be done, and also Proper preparation, meaning that others have a foothold, others have a way to, a place to step onto, that there is a place to go when they start ascending. And for some people, it might be like little stepping stones. Okay? So the new love stories, you're bringing your own sexy back. You're not bringing more sexual energies here to splay out on, into everyone. It's personal now. It really is personal and intimate. And the first batch of you, you're the pioneers. And just like pioneers, this has been a rough road. This has been a very, very, very rough road to travel. Oh, we need to stop for some water. And you've had your wheel break down and you've had, you know, disagreements with some of the people on the way. And yet, you're determined to get where you're going. Your perseverance, the willingness of your heart, your devotion to your twin. This is it. This is it. Point of no return. I don't say that to scare you. What I'm saying is that you've been able to close the door on the past, even if your twin seems like they haven't done some things. That is a misconception. So by now... All of your possibilities are on the table, all of it, and this is definitely a time for new, for new, for twin flames. Um, there's some other things I wanted to mention here. This is this is the harmony. Now we remember, I remember the first time I really felt the harmonic convergence it was in 1987. I didn't know till years later what it was. I felt, and I started noticing people at my work gossiping, and I didn't want to participate in it. It was really kind of creeping me out sometimes. And yet, I didn't know, but I had this word nagging at me, harmony, harmony, harmony. Things should be in harmony. Well, this is an entirely new thing. This is not no longer the collective harmony. We've gotten the collective about as harmonious as they're going to be. The next part is for them to be harmonious with their own true love. And the harmony is your vibration. It's your body. It is 
you being able to repel away the things that you don't want. When you go to the store, you're either going to attract people near you or you're going to part the seas. And some of you know this. You know the effect you have on, on people. When you bring your love vibes somewhere, you know that there's people that gravitate towards you. And you know that there's people, um, I know a couple that says stores should pay them a little fee because every time they go there, 10 people show up. And, you know, this is about making everything lovely for everyone where it's win, 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 win for everyone, not just some. It will be some people at first who are living in their physical union. Because in order to ensure the success, yes, we've had to get batches of people. You're next. There's subsequent waves. And some of this will seem like it keeps going without a delineated period between an ending and a beginning. Okay, so once again, I have a little diorama for you. I'm going to just show you here. And... As you may recall, during our last, during my last video, okay, during my last video, I had shown you how this lovely young woman had all of her connections out to the old grid, just cluttered with stuff, things nipping at her heels all kinds of junk, all kinds of financial worries, debts, car loan, worrying about how is she going to, you know, make it? How is she going to do anything? And I wanted to show you a depiction here. This actually came to me through someone's session, how we're networked with each other, but I wanted to show it in the form of people and not just stuff on a net in an abstract way. So these are people she's been connected to. And many times she thought, maybe this person's the one. She's been recalling lives with some of these people. She's been aware of some of their loveliness. And let me bring you in a little closer here. Okay. So, you know, and she decided to try. She decided to try and see, where does love take me? She's been looking for love, looking for love in all the wrong places sometimes, like a lot of us have. And when she has felt, she's given her heart. But where she's been connected has been the sacral, the hara, the root. And it's all down here. And he's depicting her twin. He already has... Their golden, their golden infinity symbol there. Their golden heart connections, high heart, right here at the thymus, the solar plexus, and around for the high universal mind. The other people will actually only drag her down if she stays connected to them. So she decided to try. She met this lovely man here, and he definitely brought some different perspective for her and she really liked all his qualities but he turned out not to be the one and this man well he's a man in uniform that kind of turned her on but where it turned her on was her head and she stopped seeing him and she actually found out that they really didn't have that much in common who he was married to was the military she decided to try twins because after all, sometimes the love gets amplified when you have more than one person. But what she found was that they really weren't one and the same person. They actually bickered a lot, and nobody ultimately focused on her, and she couldn't feel. She couldn't feel because her twin kept pulling the energy upwards to hold it in safekeeping for her. So little by little, that relationship didn't fly. She even decided that, you know, maybe, maybe it wasn't with a man after all. After all, she'd had some dreams, and maybe, maybe it was a woman. 
and she gave it a try. She got messed up and tried, and, you know, not everyone has to get messed up to be with the same sex. However, it is not her primary. Who her twin is and who is embodying everything for her is housed in his body. She has the connections for him. He has been holding steady. He's been listening to the messages, and he's been in an elevated position, which gives him some perspective. So while he has simply allowed her to do what she's felt necessary before they met, and everything is forgiven, it's in the detachment of the uh, sacral area, the root, and these people will be detached from her. Them and all of their stuff, any of their garbage, any of their beliefs, any of the things that they've been carrying, any karmic badged baggage. They're a couple who've met each other. Guess what about people who've met? They're twin. You're a natural healer. You don't want to be in a position of vacuuming off all these people. All these people going way back. Not only that, he's lovingly brought everything that she's treasured and all of their possibilities are right here on the table. He's ready, which means she's ready. Okay? The next steps are going to be to make the most of it. So, when you have a couple where the love is so deep and it's so cosmic and it's so universal and a love that goes beyond space and time, how would you do this? And people say, well, with love. But I say this to you. The essence of your light body is made from love. Love is an actual substance. Love is what forms and creates, and it's not just the emotion of the heart. And so when you expand yourself, you clear things out. So I want to let you know, let me bring this back here. Okay. All right. Oopsie. Okay, I want to let you know that I'm not just um, talking about this. I am here to teach and guide. What I teach is about the body. Other people teach about the emotions. And I'm firmly someone who believes in cut to the chase. Let's get this done as quickly as possible, even though this hasn't really been quick for people. And so I'm recommending for people if this is new to you and you want to clear this out you want to clear your um, solar plexus which has a lot of your connections to other people your sacral your root try my light body and transition webinar the link is going to be down below and there's several others that would be helpful for you I will make recommendations in there if you would like a one-on-one -on -one session, I'm available for that. That is where we get discernment and we get you some clarity so that you can make some decisions for your life. You may be baffled by some of your twin's behavior, and you may have a paradox of what's happening in 5D versus what's happening in 3D. I talk about that in my last webinar and what that is and what to do called being home with each other. If you're looking forward to coming into your physical union, try some of these. They definitely do not hurt. They will shift your energies. Get your channels opened. After all, as we go into November, October, November, October, that is togetherness time. November is solidity time, and it is merging time, and December is Cosmic light body merge for a lot of people. And when the veil parts, you're going to see, you're going to know. A lot of people are going to be having some really fabulous experiences. So really, this hasn't really gone mainstream. Some people are starting to see things out in the public. You're seeing 
sorry, you're seeing public breakups of figures. You've been maybe questioning and scratching your head and saying, but wait a minute, I thought they were together. I thought they were with each other. And no, you're exactly what I had said a few months ago. You're going to see breakups. But this is why things are breaking up. Everyone's being home with their true dance partner. How do you get through? This is why I was prompted to do my universal divorce, because it's time to help people break up with this stuff once and for all, because you're over the threshold. A lot of you are over the threshold. If you're still in something, you're going to feel it. Okay, you don't need me to tell you. It's in how it feels. It either feels icky, flat, dead, flatlined, stinky, or, or almost non-existent, as though things just slip through your fingers. You can't stay emotionally connected to your spouse. Why? Because you've emotionally connected to your twin a ways back. And they may be a good person, and that is duly noted. A lot of people who are married to good people, that person belongs to someone. And there are appropriate ways to do this where you're going from the top down, not from the bottom up. So um, that's all I have for you today. Everyone have a great new moon. Remember, stick to only the essentials. As a lot of you coast into your union here, you're going to have a time compression. Not enough hours in the day to do stuff. We've had a season change. The hours are different. The daylight is different. And you're going to notice it. You're going to feel how there's not enough of something. I recommend stick to what's essential. Okay? So thank you, as always, for watching. If you like these updates, please subscribe. My website is www.twinflamesmerge.com. Thanks again. Have a great week. Bye now.